Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about wood framing. Uh, kind of an odd topic, I, I know, I get it, but most of the rooms that I see come across my desk are wood framed rooms. Okay, and let's, let's analyze that kind of situation. Today, interior walls in our rooms, in our homes and everything like that, mostly are two by fours. There is no worse arrangement for audio than a two by four stud framed room for a lot of reasons. The first reason is they move. Have you ever been in a building, a home for that matter, and you've closed an exterior door and the whole wall shakes? That's a two by four. It's not rigid enough, it doesn't have the proper tensile strength, and it moves. So you put some low frequency energy in that room with a subwoofer, with a drum kit, and you've turned the room into a speaker. And that's the last thing you want to do. So stay away from 2x4 construction in any audio environment. 2x6 is our next choice. I'd stay away from that too if you can. The cost between a 2x6 and a 2x8, and we've measured the vibration of these. So I can tell you with the utmost certainty, stay away from 2x4, stay away from 2x6. 2x8 is a good start. 2x10, 2x12. We frame all our new constructions with 2x12s. Now we do that for a lot of reasons, which we'll discuss. But the 2x8 and the 2x10 will give you the rigidity without the movement. Okay, that's what we got to have. We don't want to add to our problems. We want to minimize those, okay? So we have this rigidity flexibility ratio that we have to maintain in our design. The best sounding audio you're going to get in any room, if you have the privilege of being able to build your own room, and contrary to some of the comments I see on our YouTube channel, a lot of people do build their own rooms. You might not be able to yourself, but there's a whole segment of society that's very, very serious about audio reproduction, and they want to control all the variables. They want to build a room with the right size, volume, and usage, and they want the right treatment. It's always 2 by 12. Now, why do we use 2 by 12 in our designs? Well, you know from the past that we can incorporate our diaphragmatic absorption in that 2 by 12 stud space. So we get the rigidity and the flexibility that we want through the absorption, and we get the depth in the cavity through the 2 by 12 stud. So we have 11, 11 and a half inches to work with in a 2 by 12 stud space. So that cavity gives us the ability to treat low frequency absorption, middle and high frequency absorption in the wall itself. So you don't have a lot of freestanding units. Space is expensive today. We don't want a lot of boxes cluttering our room up. So the goal is to try to incorporate as much of the technology we can in the room itself and not have a, a lot of freestanding. So in summary, when you're building your room, stay away from 2x4, stay away from 2x6s. 2x8 is the minimum. We can incorporate low frequency technology in a 2x8 depth, 7.5 inch depth. They will go down to 100 cycles, go down to 90 cycles. We get into 2 by 10s, we can go down to 60, 70 cycles, and 2 by 12, we can get down in the 30 cycle range. So there's a lot of things to consider with deeper stud space. And the cost between a, a 2 by 6 and a 2 by 12 is, is minimal versus the benefit that you get. So I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.